Yeah! You're going to love this, trust me. What you're seeing now is my normal state. This is a Saiyan's fury form. A Saiyan's fury form? A uh, furry? You don't look very furry to me, except for your loincloth thing. So, so what? And this. This is what is known as a Super Saiyan that has ascended above the Fury form where I get all pissed off. Ugh! Or you could just call this Super Saiyan Rage. What a useless transformation. You changed your hair, so what? <laughs> Just wait. This is to go even further beyond! Oh man, sorry that took so much longer than the others. <laughs> I haven't had the occasion to practice this one. This is what I call Super Saiyan Swole! This is Slow Plays back in some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So today, my friends, I am so excited to be bringing you guys another sick new animated custom transformation from the original Dragon Ball Z series in the Majin Buu saga. One of the most legendary transformations of all time. And no, it is not related to Broly. We got my boy, Goku. He is back. So this is the... Uh, I guess Halo variation, the dead version of Goku. If you guys remember when he went Super Saiyan 3 for the first time, you had the amazing music. Do, 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 do. Awesome stuff. So uh, I want to say a big, massive gargantuan shout out as well to the two homies. We had IME DZ as well as Kate. IME DZ creating the actual, I guess, like mod itself with the transformation animations. Uh, I'm not sure if he had help from anyone else. If he does, let me know that there's other people involved in this. I will definitely have them linked down below as well. And of course, Kate, she did an amazing job on sound effects, kind of like with Brandon, how he does awesome sound effects. Kate was able to contribute and do an amazing job as well. So please go check her out down below. Uh, I'll link her Twitter as well as her mods page and everything that she has available. So you guys go check them out, support the modders. They are the ones that are making this series possible and making these amazing creations and it's been a while since we've done a crazy custom transformation animation on one of the most iconic forms in the entire series so i'm very excited guys before we get into it, do me a massive gargantuan favor as well and smash the like button that would be so freaking amazing and i would truly really appreciate it plus just that you guys want to see more dragon ball xenoverse 2 content here on the channel as well as a continuation of the mod series so for the skills that we were working with he had basically all normal skills there's only two custom skills that are going to be on this mod it's going to be the ultimate dragon fist as well as the super saiyan 3 transformation uh, i went ahead and threw on the instincts wind uh, we had homing attack from sonic from my boy matt hanging combo confident burst charge from technical soul decks uh, and then we have a maximum Kamehameha. I believe that's a skill that might have been from Beyonders. I'll check it out down below as well. And then we have Rebellious Buster as a recolor from the homie Grey Leo X. And the Super Soul time to go all out. I'm so excited. Let's try this out and see how it goes. Let's do this! You can't beat me! Ooh, oh man, I am ready. So this is just as OG as you get with Goku. Iconic style in the sky against Bavity. I mean, it was against Boo, but, you know, Bobbity was there, so shout-outs to, uh, Mustaclo for actually, uh, making this nice little Bobbity here. So, guys, we're gonna go ahead and just jump straight on into the transformation. It looks like Goku has a immense amount of health, so in three, two, one, let's go ahead and see it. Oh, here we go. Nice! You hear those sound effects? Look at that! No, he just goes straight into Super Saiyan 2! Look at that! Dude, look at this! Whoa! <laughs> Dude! The hair was growing! Okay, hold up, hold up. Have mods evolved again? Is that even possible? 
It like literally, I'm like Piccolo and Krillin. <laughs> Has he found a way to go past the Super Saiyan? Is that possible? Like, <laughs> he must be bluffing. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that is ridiculous. Hold on, one more time. One more time, real quick. I just have to see this. The hair growth. What the fuck? Okay, so he's Super Saiyan. He goes Super Saiyan 2. It fades out of that. Has that nice big effect at the end. Dude, are you kidding me? Hold up. I don't know how they- I think- oh my god, you know what I'm thinking? And I could be wrong- my man looking like Sonic, he looking like Shallot! Bro, that is so sick, so, you know what I'm thinking they had to do? I'm assuming they had to make a new model with progressively longer hair that keeps going- Look at this shit, bro! There's- I don't know how they're doing this, there's- there's gotta be some trick to it. I mean, I don't wanna say trick, but like, there's no way that, like, uh, can the game even do that? I don't- man, modders are doing some magic, bro. It even glows, so each time it glows and fades out, you can see the character actually does disappear for a split second, so I think in between those split seconds, it's actually- look at that, see? It actually replaces the model with a new model, so what I'm assuming is that much, but I could definitely be wrong, but that is so amazing and well done, like, literally one of the most smooth, like, baby- buttery smooth mods that you've ever seen like look at that you got the sick aura from these auras these nuts but yeah like that's insane bro that's crazy i'm just trying to go frame by frame here so i can actually capture this because i want to see him actually okay so it does this crazy fade out effect oh my god that is amazing and then it does that like swirl effect exactly like in the anime and the hair freaking grows dude that is nutty bears bro i have not like seen a mod that like gets that intricate with with a model change like we've seen ones that fade in and out for like super saiyan 4 by azura but this one right here man like with the hair growth that's that's a lot of detail that is a lot of detail and that's like the best way that you can make this transformation you know what i mean holy crap all right i'm gonna shut up because i know some of y'all don't like hearing me scream and all that stuff uh, so that you guys can hear the actual transformation and the amazing sound effects by kate so let's go ahead and hear those now Man, that is just freaking absolutely insane. Like, dude, I don't, like, I, there's nothing else I can say about that. Like, it's as intricate and beautifully done and polished as you can get with a mod, man. Like, hats off to IME, hats off to the, you know, modding community for being able to figure out how to do stuff like this. Like, they just evolve and evolve and evolve, and it just keeps getting better and better. Like, it's insane, so... I'm gonna try out some of these skills here. Man, I'm already losing my voice just from how epic that was. So we got an instincts win. Uh, that move is OP as hell, bro. <laughs> yeah, that is crazy, dude. But yeah, I just wanted to throw on a couple of fun skills just because, you know, we always see the same skills every now and then. Uh, because he's got the long hair, bro, I had to do a homing attack Sonic style. We got the spin dash. Shout out to Matt. This is one of the coolest skills that he actually made, bro. I love this. That's why I told y'all. Matt's Sonic mod is literally amazing. Hanging combo. I don't know exactly what this is, but it's it's sick. I think that might actually be a skill that was created by Grins. I could be wrong. I'll have to check that out. I have so many mods installed. I have to find... I, I gotta start, like, being able to identify mods, like, modded moves and, and combos and things from certain specific modders, like, without having to look at it. I think I can do it. You know, I, I use these mods all the time. But sometimes you can get super crazy and intricate with it. So uh, we got the Rebellious Buster looking great. Uh, maximum Kamehameha. Love the look of this one. It's a big, awesome Kamehameha. Gargantuan because it's maximum. You already know it. And uh, we have this nice effect going on here with the camera angles. I still don't know why, what the reason is for whenever moves, specific moves, actually darken. As you can see, it like makes everything very pale and dark. I'm assuming it's to like supposed to help against uh maybe like younger children who maybe are prone to like very bright lights and stuff and like they're very sensitive to that so let's go and try out this ultimate dragon fish here curious to see whoa okay i think i remember this one this one is sick bro 
creates a really cool camera effect that zooms out way more and has this awesome background where it's pretty much uh, kind of like the one that Super Saiyan 4 Goku uses where you have that awesome effect. It's kind of like in Dragon Ball Fighters. That's what it reminds me of whenever you have GT Goku and uses like level 3 or whatever, but that is so well done. Amazing move. Perfect for him as well, but um, man, all I gotta say is just amazing job amazing amazing job one of the coolest transformation animations out there all right one more time for the good homies and then we'll go into versus Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and do the iconic battle itself. Goku versus Majin Buu for the very first time. Whenever Goku was dead and he was like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show you this amazing transformation. I got one, two, three. And then Majin Buu was like, Super okay, Saiyajin! <laughs> oh my god, so we're gonna, we're gonna ultra instinct our way out of here, man. This man trying to, he trying to hit me with the giant fist! Yes, yes, yes! Oh! 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 <laughs> Oh my god, dude. So, I'm assuming it takes a pretty good amount of key here. So, I'm just going to shoot him off. We're just going to go straight into it because this move is pretty good, bro. Alright, so I am assuming that we are invincible. We have super armor. Hopefully, he don't do no shit to us, man. It looks like he's still moving around. I can still see him trying to move during this sequence. But, uh, we looking badasses here in this super scene. Three. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. All right. Okay. He's actually kind of he kind of beating my ass right now. So this Goku is crazy because it's like he has really low stamina, but he's got like super high health, and that's kind of like what it was in the anime. In, in a sense, because Goku was like he was pretty resilient. He could take any type of hits and everything. It was just that his time was running out because he was dead. You, you know what I mean? So that was the that was the main uh, issue with that. But this man trying to do some stupid shit. <laughs> This man trying to do some super shit, bro. Oh, crap. Wait, wait, wait. Well, hold up. Hold up. Man, fam. What you doing? <laughs> he have a death wish. I swear. I swear. I swear. All right. Homing attack. Oh, crap. <laughs> I tried to spin dash into his asshole. Oh, my God. That is too funny. Okay, that's not even... <laughs> What did I just say? I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. All right. Let me get the confidence. Confidence of the birth of I got the confidence of the birth charge. You already know it. So this one right here, this one might be a problem because I don't know how much key this takes up. Dragon. Oh yeah, this t literally takes up all of the key. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna do it, but I don't think I'll be able to because this mofo won't let me even freaking land it here. What the? Here. What the? Huh? I like how I used it. He just, he just. I mean, it's not like he evaded it, but. I have no idea what he just did right there. <laughs> I mean, he, I guess it wasn't even like a, I don't even know what that was. It wasn't like a perfect block or anything. He was just, he's just annoying as fuck right now. That's all I gotta say. All right, I do want to finish him off with the dragon fist, but this little shithead ain't letting me here. <laughs> Whatever, okay, I give up. Whatever, we're just gonna kill him now. <laughs> oh, oh, you already know. All right, maybe I can finish him off. At least with something. Alright, let's do instincts win. <laughs> good enough, good enough. Oh my god, I don't know what that was. I have to, I have to like play that back. I mean, y'all probably know what it was, but he like, he like, I guess it was a stamina break or something. He just got out, like completely negated it. Maybe he has super armor at that point or something. I don't know, man. That's how you know I don't play Xenoverse. It was some kind of thing. So thank you all so much for watching. Again, big shout outs to IMEDZ as well as Kate. They did an amazing, beautiful job on this. And I'm just so uh, stoked about it, man. It's, it's exciting. It's exciting to see the modding community just like keep getting more and more. Like they literally break their limits. They are limit breaker modders right now. <laughs> so stay safe. Have a great day. Leave a like, subscribe, ring my notification bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.